we can model light going through a semiconductor by just looking at what happens when it goes through a single slab of thickness delta x. So we have light coming in with intensity I of x. Intensity is watts per square centimeter. And it comes out with a different intensity, whatever it is at x plus delta x. And so we're going to model this by coming up with a uh, coefficient for that uh, the absorption of that light because for sure less light comes out to the other end than when in the front end. We'll call alpha of lambda the absorption coefficient and it's literally the number of photons that are absorbed per unit length from this incoming light. And I suggest you take a look on page 120 at figure 426 for an example of absorption data. It's very, very wavelength dependent and yeah, you should really see what that looks like. So take a look at that graph. I don't have it in the PowerPoint. If you have an intensity coming out and you have an intensity going in, this somehow this absorption is going to relate them. I and mean, how should you relate them? Well, if I of X is basically the number of photons coming in and you have fewer photons coming out, if you take the number of photons coming in and multiply it by the percentage of photons that make it through, you have the number of photons coming out. And so that's what you do. You take this, the initial number of photons the intensity, and you multiply by the, the percentage that gets through. So that would be 1 minus the number absorbed per unit length. That's actually fraction absorbed, I guess, uh, alpha fraction absorbed. That's the intensity coming out. I'll break apart the parentheses there, and you could shift it around. You can put the I of X on the left side of the, uh, the expression. You can bring the delta X over to the left side, and you should see a derivative. So do you see how if you take the limit of delta x very small, you have a derivative. And so we have a nice little equation here. The di by dx is minus the absorption coefficient times the intensity. And that's a simple thing to solve. So you just write down the exponential solution to that with some amplitude i sub 0. If we take that uh, expression, we have something that we can work with to calculate things as long as we have numbers for the uh, absorption coefficient. So we'll use silicon. The thickness is known. We have 10 milliwatts incident. We, let's find the rate of absorption. Find it in watts. That is how many joules per second of, of light is being absorbed by the semiconductor. And I do believe you're going to have to find a value for alpha. You're given the, the energy, so you have the wavelength. We have uh, 10 milliwatts going in. We're going to lose some power. Let's call it the absorbed power. So it's that 10 milliwatts minus whatever comes out. I just want to point out that, that this will be governed by the same equation we came up with just now for intensity. It's going to be the same exponential function because, after all, there's really no difference between power and intensity and flux. I mean, they're all how much stuff you have per time per area passing through a material. So, so it works for all of them. Use that as our idea, as our expression then. The power coming out is the power going in times e to the minus alpha times the thickness. And we have all these numbers. The alpha you get from, from that table on page 120. And the thickness is given, so then we know that the power absorbed is 6.3 milliwatts. So 10 milliwatts going in, 3.7 milliwatts coming out. You lose a lot of power in that 250 nanometer thick uh, film of silicon. And so material transparency is a big issue, right? If you're going to use silicon as a material at uh, this, this energy, uh, three electron volts, uh, th those photons are, are not getting through very well. Uh, other materials are much more transparent. And so for like photovoltaics, for example, uh, there is a big emphasis on the opacity of, of the material that's being, being used. But I needed at this point to get the idea of attenuation uh, alpha in front of you uh, because it could be useful for uh, this experiment that you're going to work on.